Good morning. We are the Actors of Verona. I'm Leona Gonzalez. Um, can you react to me? Act 5, Scene 3. Some things you need to know to understand a scene are that Julia played as Emily and Fire Lawrence played as Jenna. Made a plan so Julia doesn't have to marry Paris. And Fire Lawrence had set letter to Romeo played as Irita that, about the plan, but the letter was never received. So Balthazar played as Jacob gave news to Romeo that Juliet was dead. So Romeo went to buy poison so he could die with his love. Um, Jenna is going to be playing uh, Fire Lawrence, and she's going to be using the book because it was originally Riley's part, but she hasn't been here to talk this. So once again, these are. I'm Emily, I'm Juliet. I'm Marita, I'm Romeo. I'm Jenna, I'm Fire Lawrence. I'm Jacob, and I'm Balthazar. Enjoy. Thank you. Hey, Christina, can you close the computer screen? Yeah. Just all the way is fine. Yes. If he allows Julia, I think his beauty makes us fall. Peace and presence for life. Death, life thou there, by death, may we fail. How hard for the man, when death, how they've been married. I wish to keep us called lightning before death. Oh, oh my God, this is a lightning. Oh, my life, my wife. Death has sucked the beauty of thy lip, and no power reminds me. Thou were not conquered. Beauty is inside yet his lips, crimson in thy lips and in thy cheeks. Dead spell fog is not advanced here. Dimple lies thou there in thy bloody sheep. What more favor can I do to thee than to offer thy hand that broke thy youth into a to sunder his that was thine enemy? Ah, dear Juliet, why art thou yet so fair? Shall we believe that the unsubstantial death is on us and the Lena Porter monster keeps stealing the dog to be a spawn one. For fear of that, I shall stay with thee, and never from this dim palace not depart again. Here, heal will I remain with worms that are thy chainmate. Here will I serve my everlasting rest. Eyes, look your last. Arms, take your last embrace. And lips, you the dorsal frets with the righteous kiss. Take this bargain to the world's in death. Come, bitter conduct, come on, savory guide. Thou desperate pilot now at once run on the dashing rocks in roxy sequary bark. Here's to my love. be my speed, how often might have my old feet stumbled at graves? Who's there? It was one, a friend, I will not know you well. Bless be upon you, tell me, good my friend, what torches yon that vainly lends his light to grubs and eyeless skulls, as I discern it beneath in the capital's monument. It's thou so, holy sir, my own master, the one you love. Who is it? <laughs> Romeo. How long has he been there? Oh, half an hour. Go with me to the vault. I dare not, holy sir. Well, for my master knows not when I'm gone, Fiends. If it please did man me, my dear, it would just stay to look upon some tents. Stay then, I'll go along. Fear comes upon me. Oh, much I fear some ill, unthrifty thing. As I slept under this huge tree here, I left my master in another fog, and that my master slew him. Romeo, alack, alack, what blood is this which stains the stony entrance of this sepulchre? What mean these masterless and gory swords to lie discolored by this place of peace? Romeo, O oh pale, who else? What Paris too? And stepped in wood. Ah, what an unkind hour is guilty of that lamentable chance the lady stirs. O oh, comfortable fry, where is my lord? I do remember well where I should be. And there I am. Where is my Romeo? I hear some noise. Lady, come from the nest of death, contagion and unnatural sleep. A greater power than we can contradict. Thou thwarted our intents. Come, come away. Thy husband in thy bosom, there lies dead. And Paris too. Come, I'll dispose of thee among a sisterhood of holy nuns. Stay not to question, for the watch is coming. Come, go, good Julia. I dare not look your stay. Go get thee hence, for I will not away. Yeah. 
been as time was end. Oh, Churl drunk all with no friendly drop to help me after. I will kiss thy lips. Happily some poison yet doffing on them to help me die with them. <coughs> Be boy, which way? Be noise, and I'll be quick. I'm happy to ring her. This is thy sheath. I must, and let me die. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> so what you all just noticed is our interpretation of Romeo and Juliet in a Western style theme. A question that was asked is what inspired Shakespeare to direct a play about Romeo and Juliet. The answer to that is that Arthur Brooks, like before he directed a play, wrote a book about Romantis and Juliet. Shakespeare then in the late 1590s got inspired by him and wanted to direct a play. Shakespeare wanted to show the message that two people, such as Romeo and Juliet, could have fallen in love so passionately for each other that they saw at first sight. Um, you all might be wondering why Juliet said Duringer instead of Dagger. She said that because that was the name of the gun she had used to kill herself before she laid herself next to Romeo. That's all. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you.